and she's going to get it. Wow. He's out there, we're good. <laughs> that number nine, number nine. Yeah, from my people. <laughs> Having come far with this kind of achievements, coming first and all that on the honor roll, I guess. And um, is there? Are you hoping to go to any form of college or university that of your of your dream? Yes. Oh, and uh, may we know that. Uh, in the fall, I will be going to Yale University. That was my dream school. Wow! Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. You got you get admission already? Yes. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Do you want to add more? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. well, I applied to many schools and I was able to get into 15 of them, you know, some of the... 15? Yes. These Whew. are like some of the best schools in the country, so I'm very, at least I can say that I'm very proud that I've gotten into those schools. Wow, where's Yale University? Where is it at? It's in Connecticut. Connecticut. Northern, you, northern, northern Northern part of, okay. Oh, I see. And why that university? I admire... Yale so much because a lot of schools are specialized for specific things mm -hmm. where you can only go there for English, only go there for science. Right. But something I really respected about Yale was that mm -hmm. no matter what you want to do, mm -hmm. you can be the very best there. It will be, it will suit you as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited that I'm going to meet people who have s such specialized skills mm -hmm. in a wide variety of things that, that they're best in their field thus far as are as our generation, because mm -hmm. that's the kind of people that Yale wants to acquire. Great. Do you have any future aspirations? What do you hope to become in the near future? Possibly a doctor. If a I'm doctor? Able to, yes. What kind of doctor? Either a cardiothoracic surgeon or a neurosurgeon. Wow. That's a big dream. Yeah. Why that? I think being a doctor is one of the few professions where you can get as close as possible to being an mm -hmm. actual superhero, that's important, you know. You want to be a hero? Yes. Wow. I hope so, you know, hero in the sense of helping as many people as possible, mm -hmm. as, as opposed to the North Korean. Saving Korean lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you really dream of becoming someone that the public loves so much like your dad? Um, as I mentioned before, the notoriety is less interesting to me, mm -hmm. more that the people who need me mm -hmm. will know who I am. That's important to me, whether that's a big or small group, that those who will need my kind of help will be able to access me. How would you take it after school and your dad ask you to, hey, Yvonne, I want you to move to Ghana and work there as a surgeon? Oh, well, people in Ghana need medical treatment, so that's no problem. Ghana's a wonderful place. People can be helped anywhere, so and it's my home country, that's where my parents are from, that's where my fam that's where I'm from, so that's no You don't mind going down to Ghana? No. We don't pay as much though. <laughs> that's not a concern of mine. Um it's it's the work itself that's important. Mm -hmm. Too many a lot of people can focus on money. Mm -hmm. And money's important, I understand mm -hmm. realistically, but you know, I'd hope morally mm -hmm. myself I'd focus on the work if anything. Wow, you said you're 18 years. Yes. I like your dream. Thank you. And the fact that you don't think about money, but you think about life. Oh, that's I great. So. I love that. I, I pray it doesn't change. Thank you. I, I hope so as well. Wow, you think it's going to change? No, but there are a lot of pressures, you uh -huh. know, in life for that sort of thing to change. People don't want you to prioritize money above all, mm -hmm. which is not wrong in the world that we live mm -hmm. in. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. But, you know... Some things you can be driven by passion mm -hmm. and uh, maybe beneficence, if mm -hmm. anything. So I'd like to be driven by that okay. above all. All right. Is anybody, any of your parents, kind of pushing you to go into a um, medical field or is something you really wish for? It's a combination of both. Mm. My parents understand how well someone can do mm -hmm. in such a field and how respected mm -hmm. they can be for that kind of work. Definitely respectable work being a doctor. So. And then I'm on my own part, I think I mentioned before about being a hero, helping people. So it's a combination. Both. What's your favorite subject or course in the school? My favorite subject is absolutely English. English? I love English, yes. What makes you like it? It's, it's such a wonderful subject because I enjoy writing mm -hmm. a lot. It's something I do in my extracurriculars quite often. And you get to say what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. You also get to interpret things. I think 
English is a subject where you get to learn most about the world in, in all honesty. You get to understand people through their writing, their mm -hmm. perspective, their context, all of that. I think you learn, you learn so much more than people would even expect mm -hmm. from English, yes. Okay, so you said you're into writing as well? What kind of writing? Speeches, letters, proposals, what kind of writings do you? I write speeches most often. In school, I have to write a lot of essays, but extracurricular wise, I write a lot of speeches because I compete in something known as forensic forensic speech. Mm -hmm. I'm even the captain of my speech team at my school. Oh, and wow. What I do is that the category that I compete in is called original oratory. Mm -hmm. So you write your own speech and then you deliver it. So that's wow. been a wonderful opportunity. That's beautiful. Have you won any kind of awards prior to that before? Oh, yes. Uh, I've competed in many uh, national competitions mm -hmm. for my school, national, local, and regional. And I've been mm -hmm. able to place second regional, top five nationally for both declamation, where you deliver a speech, mm -hmm. an existing speech, and an original oratory. Wow. Are you looking forward to writing any speech for your father? Just in case, should he one day become a high-profile personality like the president of Ghana. If my father thinks he needs my help, he'll come to me. So <laughs> hopefully, I'll be, <laughs> hopefully I'll be of use if that time arrives. Oh, yeah. Ghana. Your father is rich. Is that true? Uh, I mean, he can be described as such. Do you believe in that? It's something I choose not to focus on. Why? Because... It's some. It's best to remain humble about these things, even if that was true. It shouldn't change how I feel about my father. So. How do you feel about him? I love my dad. You love him? Yeah. What makes you love your dad? He's very motivated and he's very generous. He's kind. Very motivated and generous. What about your mom? My mom is the same. Oh, I love that. Great. Are you a material person? No. No. no? What makes you happy? Uh, reading. Reading? Reading makes me very happy, yes. Mm. I love to read. I'm sorry? Somebody, oh. are you reserved? No. You're not. I think I'm very friendly. Very friendly? Oh. And um, what's your social life? Uh, probably non-existent. I fo I'm only 18, so I only focus on my books, really, so that's all I can do. I love that. I love that. Okay, so Yvonne, um, on your mom's side, with your dad, how many kids do you, how many siblings are you? Uh, there's four of us. Four. Okay. All right. And are they all academically boosted like you are? Yes. That's a common trait amongst all my siblings, okay. yes. And where is that coming from? Our dad's motivation, absolutely. He has always cultivated an environment amongst all of us mm -hmm. of working hard academically and mm -hmm. just, he describes it as being strong. That's mm -hmm. what he says. And your mom's side? Uh, she, oh, she's also the same. That's something that comes from both ends of my family, so without a doubt. So where from this? I would say both of my parents. I mm. can't choose which one I got my intelligence from, no. Would you mind telling me the truth? What really bothers you about your dad? Nothing bothers me about my dad. You like everything he does? He doesn't come at you sometimes? No. Is he not too tough to deal with? No. He gives you his time? Mm-hmm. Always smiling with you? Yes. Cuddling and making you feel so special? Yes. It's not rolling at you, hey, coming at you, you're like something? Absolutely not. Ooh. Do you, do you take time to follow your dad on his, on, 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 on social media? No. Do you listen to him, some of his speeches and programs that he goes to? When I can catch it at times, it's, it's mm -hmm. not too often because of the time difference. Have you ever heard anything bad about your dad before? Um... Nothing that I particularly pay attention to mm -hmm. or can hold in my mind at the moment to like tell you now, no. Mm -hmm. What has been the best moment of you with your dad, if you could recall? I think one of my favorite memories with my dad technically wasn't even with him. 
he came back, it mm -hmm. was here, he came back from a bookstore in the United States called uh, Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. He came back with a stack of 10 books, 10 mm -hmm. books, it was out of nowhere. I was mm -hmm. just in the house with my sisters, but he came back with this stack of books for me and he said, here, I want you to read them all mm -hmm. if you can, because I want you to be strong. So that I've always, uh, uh, that as a memory I've always cherished because he thought of me unprovoked as well as the fact that I can connect with him through literary pursuits, academic pursuits, that will always be something that reminds me of my dad, even when I'm not with him physically. Your dad doesn't live here. He lives in Ghana. Yes. When you're in need, how do you do it? I, I call my dad or I speak to my mom. Does he always answer your calls anytime you call him? Yes. You sure? Yes. I don't think that works. Why? He's a busy person. Absolutely. But he's not busy to you? No, he makes himself available to his children. That's nice. Yvonne, are you enjoying the conversation? Yes. You sure? Yes. Positive. Your mates, your friends are watching you all over the world. And they are so proud of you. What makes you so strong? And very powerful? Oh, I don't know if I'm strong and powerful. You don't know? Okay, what's your strength? I think I'm able to start conversations. And I think that's a strength because a lot of times things can get stuck in the, uh, in, in the tension between people in the air. And once you break that tension itself, you can really get a flow of conversation going, a dialogue that can come up with solutions, mm -hmm. whether entertainment-wise or just as an enjoyment conversation or a problem-solving conversation, I'd hope. Mm -hmm. Are you friendly? Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't believe in that answer, do you? I, I would hope I'm friendly when appropriate, only appropriate, yes. Oh. And how do you define appropriate? Mm, just when you want to make friends with the right people. Mm -hmm. Do you have friends? Yes. How many? <laughs> um, I have, I would say, three closest friends. I have many acquaintances. Mm -hmm. But I would say three closest friends that I always want to keep by me. What, what, what made them closest? They're very reliable, honest, and funny young women. And what do you guys share in common? That we're all in the same grade level, we're all the same age, and we all work, work very, very hard in school. They're, they're also going to top schools. Mm. Um, excuse me. I myself... I'm fortunate enough to go to top schools. I was admitted to many top schools, 15 or so. Mm -hmm. And they are also going to very good schools as well. So I think it's always good to be, befriend people who can challenge you and want to be who you want to be on par with at all times. Okay. Are you looking forward to attending the same university with any of them? Yes. My best friend and I are going, are both going to Yale. What, do you mind sharing their names? I was saying give them some shout outs. Um, okay. <laughs> Shout out to Tiffany, Catalina, and Muna. Guys are my best friends. Are they Ghanaians? Um, no. No? Do you have a Ghanaian friend? Oh, yes. What was the name? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> some of them are at school. Mm -hmm. uh, Shannon, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, Zora, mm -hmm. and Caleb, and, and Molly. Molly, the Ghanaians? In the same school? Yes. Oh, wow. And you guys are quite related? Mm -hmm. mm. Do you get a chance to sit down and plan, talk to each other? Hey, we are from Ghana. Hey, oh, let's talk course. about Ghana. School, yeah. Have you ever spoken to them about Ghana before? Mm -hmm, absolutely. About what? About our own pride and mm -hmm. always trying to mm -hmm. represent our country best hey. amongst other African countries. Wow. You know, go, that go. kind of a mm -hmm. amicable, mm -hmm. oh, this country versus that country, but, mm -hmm. you know, just joking that, oh, Ghana is the best country right. in Africa, Ghana is the best country in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, pride, Ghanaian pride. I see. And um, are they also looking, sharing the same kind of ideas like you do? Or maybe going back to Ghana some days to come, or years to come to also work in Ghana? Oh, uh, some of some of them yes, but also that the others like their lives in America, that they were raised there as well. Mm. So they it's split in between. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. 
and bringing the conversation to a close. And I know we have really had enough information from you. Is there anything we are missing that you want to share with us? No, I think uh -huh. just that mm -hmm. in terms of why I was here today and my academic journey, you know, mm -hmm. that motivation is one thing, but to always keep God close in your heart, push you down the line, take you along the way when you yourself can't, you know, to not abandon that. I feel that it's important personally to acknowledge that always, you know, what I've been blessed with alongside what I've worked towards. Do you go to church? No. How do you know God? Um, just what I've learned from my parents. Mm. How did you learn that? F from them. What they tell me, what they've raised me to believe being a, a Christian. You're a Christian? Mm -hmm. But you don't go to church? Mm. Mm. That sounds weird. I thought all Christians go to church. The, it, it can be different for everyone. How do you treat your Sabbath? Pardon? Your Sabbath day. I mean, either Sundays or Sunday, Saturdays. I don't know which day you believe in as a Sabbath day. But how do you react towards it? How do you treat it? How, what goes on on your, on your sacred days? Uh, it's an important day, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. for reflection, mm -hmm. sometimes for spending time with family. Mm -hmm. That's good. Do you like, do you, are you an out in person? Do you go out? I like to go to dinner with my family, but otherwise... So dinner is your only outing point? Oh, you don't go to clubs? No. No social functions? Parties? No. Birthdays? Oh, well, for my friends, yes. You do? Did you, have you had a party in your life before? Uh, yes. Where was that? Oh, well, that was when I was very little in Ghana and I mm. shared my birthday. With what about sister. your sweet 16? Oh, I didn't have one. It was during the pandemic. Oh, you were not lucky. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. All right. I wish you could go back to 16 again. Come back so we can have a very big party <laughs> for you. All right. So we can all bring you our presence. But thank you very much. It's been a nice time. Okay. And um, before we go, young ones like you, back home in Ghana and all over the world are watching. Any advice? You must always push ahead. It will oftentimes... In this world, it's not eradicated yet, but gender inequality and sexism will always play a role in your lives as women. So, and then as Ghanaian women as well, you're most likely uh, black yourself. So you may be seen that way as well. So that intersection will always be important in the eyes of everyone else in the world. But your accomplishments cannot be diminished if you have the work effort to match. So you need to maintain that drive, even though it may be difficult from external pressures and external restrictions. So always push forward. There's no limits to what you can achieve as in a rapidly progressing world, especially. So I hope that you can always keep that strength with you. If no one else believes in you, believe that I believe in you. In the back of your mind, this small, small me who hopes that you can always push through. Yvonne, what's your mom's name? I forgot to ask. Eugenia. Eugenia. Eugenia what? Eugenia Kopna. Where is she? Is she in America here or Ghana? She's in America. Are you, what's the position of your mom's kids? How many? I'm her youngest out of four. How do you say youngest in Ghana? I'm not sure. Say Ketri. Ketri. Baby last. What's your share? Mommy boys are. <laughs> okay, and then let me dig a little bit into that of you. Um, so you have half siblings or mm -hmm. stepsisters and brothers? Half siblings, yes. Half. How do you cope with them? Do you know them? Yes. Do you relate to them? Absolutely. How do you do it? I love all of my siblings. We don't distinguish amongst ourselves. We rarely, if ever, mm. mention that we're half siblings. That's unimportant to us. That's awesome. How did you get over that? How did you get to work on that? Who taught you that? Is it under restrictions? No, we don't have to be taught it. It's, uh, we have such a love amongst ourselves that we've mm. acquired that mindset on our own. It didn't mm. need to be cultivated or anything. It's not something that's really, not something that's shameful. Mm. Definitely, absolutely not. Mm. But we just have that love of each other where we don't need to distinguish that any barrier between us, such as half. No. That's awesome. I'm so impressed. Good. Absolutely, this girl is genius. 
she is intelligent so eloquent and i'm so proud of her thank you eugenia um you see now i'm calling you by your mom's name <laughs> um thank you your boy <laughs> nice one and then this is america you've been to ghana before you said right yes. how many times about five or six times I do you ever feel bad having your parents or having the Ghanaian background? No, absolutely not, never. How is your reaction? How is the reaction of your colleagues in the, in the school? Usually I feel like there's this kind of racism, that, this kind of um, stigmatization against um, people of color and other. How do you see yours in your school? In my own school dynamic, it's actually quite diverse there. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, it's unavoidable, mm -hmm. that sort of discrimination. Rather it's unavoidable. Unavoidable, yes, in the United oh. States, yes. Mm -hmm. But not that it's a constant threat, but, you know, it, it can be anywhere that you turn, you never know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would say that it's never been direct, directed towards me, whether being African or Ghanaian specifically. Fortunately enough, I can say that that's not the case for everybody everywhere. Of course not, but I wouldn't say that there's been that much of a problem in terms of discrimination against my nationality or ethnicity at my school. Mm. So you don't feel bad no. about it? No, I could never. You don't, oh. feel, you don't feel intimidated either? No. You feel proud being a black? Absolutely. Oh, good. And um, going, talking about, talking about um, you coming from Ghana and Africa, when you go there, when you go to Ghana, how do you see the, like the living style or the style of living as compared to this, that of over here? Any difference? Mm, I would say at times maybe there's a noticeable, a, sh a more sharp class difference mm -hmm. in Ghana mm -hmm. that maybe some people are more well off and some people have far less. It may become noticeable within the same area quite quickly as opposed to the United States. But it's not that sharp of a contrast as would be portrayed in the United States where oftentimes there are these sort of campaigns of, oh, we really need to help Africa out. Africa needs our help. Africa is so denigrated mm -hmm. that they must require our assistance as a powerful nation. No, it's not as sharp as would merit that in the U.S., no. Mm -hmm. But of course, every country has its problems, so mm -hmm. I can't say that Ghana's without. Love that. Do you take time to study the people over there anytime you visit? You do? I would say primarily because of my age, that's mm -hmm. all I can do is a people watch, as we say in the United States, observe the people, I would hope. Mm -hmm. Any observations? Very hardworking people, very family oriented people, much different than the mm -hmm. United States, family oriented, and people who understand that their lives are based on bringing honor to their families, that's definitely a big deal that I've noticed in Ghana. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Talking about the lives of Ghanaians and the life of Americans, do you think that um, there is something particular that you and I have to actually know? Um, so far as academics, I don't know if you have um, friends back home in Ghana or something that you've even bothered yourself to at least know about how the academic system works as compared to that of here, if they have the kind of privileges you get here, or if it's the same. Do you have any friends like that? Mm. I would say sadly that I don't have that many friends in Ghana mm -hmm. beyond my own family members that might be my, my own age. Mm. But I'd say that beyond the American or British system schools, maybe there is a difference in the opp opportunities, but I think maybe Many Ghanaian Americans, many Ghanaians know that difference between the school systems in America versus 